from the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hump, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a 2010 NFL Draft preview of the wide receiver prospects. Let's just get right at it, jump in the list, and see who I have number one. I'm going to leave the football game plan studios and travel out west to the Oklahoma State University Cowboys. There's Bryant. Here's a guy that could have came out last year. Tremendous athlete. Body control is insane. Great hands, catches everything that you throw to him. He also has deep speed, and he's explosive in the return game. So he can help someone out in the return game as well as the receiving exploits. He's a phenomenal athlete, great player. He's going to make somebody really, really happy. He's going to be the first receiver taken off the board. So reminds me a lot of Andre Johnson. Outstanding receiver for Oklahoma State. And number two on my list, we're going to go out to the University of Illinois, Aurelius Ben. This guy is a man, a beast. Like, seriously, one of the top receivers in the country. The problem with him is he just was so unlucky to play with Juice Williams. That kind of the same situation that Reggie Ball had on Calvin Johnson. But this guy right here is tremendous burst right there. You see burst through the hole on a kickoff return. Since he set foot on campus, has been a man. And Quan Bolden, who I compare him to, he can catch the football run away from the guys, break tackles. You can also do some spot duty in the backfield on some end of rounds. So he's really a versatile athlete. I like it really has been a lot. Second receiver probably is going to come off the board. Going to shoot down to Atlanta. We've been down to Atlanta a lot this year. A lot of talent coming out that Georgia Tech program, Demarius Thomas. This guy here is another physical freak. Compliments the running game well. He's physical. He can block. He has awesome body control. Look at his power, judging the ball, go up and grab it at his highest point. That is a lost art in receiving. He is one of the best that does it in the country. Good body control, catches with his hands, and it has deceptive speed. Now, he may be a little bit tight-hipped, which means he doesn't have the lateral quickness, but look at that power, get on the ground, and has the ability to pull away from people. Reminds me a lot of T.O., big, versatile guy. He's going to be a physical presence, angry wide receiver. I love that about wide receivers that play with aggression. Now, Damian Williams is a guy that reminds me a lot of Curtis Conway. He is a smooth route runner. I'm talking about effortlessly. Footwork is sweet. His agility is outstanding. He can also help a team out in the return game, both punt and kickoff return. He has that type of playmaking ability, and he's an awesome wide receiver. Great, great, great outside presence. He catches with his hands. His problem is he may not be able to get off bump press, but I think he's going to do fine in the league. He's going to be one of those underrated wide receivers that you catch in the second round. That you're like, wow, why did this guy drop? He is that type of playmaker. I like him a lot. He also has speed to take it the distance. And look at number five on our list. Go out to Lawrence, Kansas, and Desmond Briscoe. It's an underrated guy. Played with one of the top quarterbacks in the country, I think, Ty Reesing. This guy is a phenomenal playmaker. All he does is catch the ball. Doesn't drop anything. He couldn't he can catch he can catch anything that's thrown to him so that makes a, that's a quarterback's best friend. His weakness is planning that spread option, that spread offense. So you question his route running, but I think in the league he's going to be number 2 receiver. He's going to operate a lot in most of you won't have to get off bump press. He's going to have to run he's going to be running free a lot, but it also reminds me a lot of Eric Moses. Outstanding playmaker just catches the football. Anytime a receiver can catch football, that's all you ask for as a quarterback and as a coach. We'll go over to South Bend with Golden Tate. This guy is explosive. At first, I wasn't high on him his freshman year, sophomore year, but this guy came on, improved his hands, playmaking ability as a former running back. So you see the power right there. You can bust three tackles, take it the distance as well. So he has good bursts. Um, he's another guy that's kind of like tight hip. So your lateral quickness may be questioned. He can. He reminds me a lot of Stalwart slash. Josh Reed, that he used to be a former running back. He has a good, compact body size, but he can jump up and make plays. If he improves his hands, he's going to be a steal in the second round. I think he's going to go to the second round. Look at Marty Gilliard, another guy you want to keep an eye on. Playmaking ability is insane. You see right here, returning kicks, punts, a slashing type of wide receiver, lightning quick, hands a sickness. He can catch the football. A lot of plays were made in that Cincinnati Bearcat offense. They went to Marty Gill. You see right here. Making plays in that big game against Pitt that determined the Big East Championship. Reminds me a lot of Bernard Berrien, how he's long legs, small torso, but makes a lot of plays. Now, Eric Decker is a guy that I like a lot. This guy is another one of those receivers that just catches everything. Deceptively quick and also has great body control and good lean and, and hands. Like jumping up over two BBs to get the football. He does that a lot. 
He did a lot this year for the Golden Gophers. Now, he's coming off an injury, but I think some team's going to take a flyer on him. He's an outstanding playmaker. He reminds me a lot of Kevin Walter. Jordan Shipper, here's a guy that just makes six sick moves all the time. Just phenomenal agility. Bang, bang. Did that dude just break his hip? But you look at his agility, he's quick. He tears you up underneath. He may not beat you deep down the sidelines, but underneath routes, he will eat you alive. Reminds me a lot of Lance Moore for the Saints. And also kind of reminds me a lot of Don Beebe. He used to tear you up underneath and beat you deep on the play action pass, something like that. But I like the fact that he's versatile. He can play in the slot. He can play on the flanks. You can also get him on reverses. He can return kicks, punts. So he's a versatile playmaker. I make him miss right there. Go get his ACL off, off the sideline. Tremendous playmaker. Jacoby Ford is another guy that speed is his forte. Blazing fast. Was on Clemson Tigers track team along with C.J. Spiller. But this guy is another blazing fast athlete. He's still learning how to play wide receiver. So he is going to take some time to grow. That's why I compared to him to Azakim. He's not going to be a guy you can go to day in, day out. But he's going to make some plays. He's going to frustrate some defensive playmakers. Blair White. This is another guy you want to keep an eye on. He's a tremendous playmaker. Walked on at Michigan State, earned a scholarship, and earned his way onto some draft boards because this guy, is a, all he does is catch the football. Perfect route running. When I say to a T, to a T. Runs perfect routes, catches everything thrown to him, and he also has deceptive speed. Also reminds me a lot of Austin Colley and how he produced this year for the Colts. Look for Blair White to have the same type of success in any offense he goes to. Now here's a guy that's been a little bit of a disappointment, Brandon LaFell. All the tools you want. Good size. He's fluid. He has. He accelerates out in and out of his brakes. The question is whether or not he wants to work hard for it. That's the big question. A lot of teams question whether or not he has that work ethic. Questionable hands. You know, some teams will get enamored with his size to speed ratio. But it reminds me a lot of Ashley Lee, a guy that just never really reached his full potential. Raleigh Cooper is a fun guy to watch. Week in, week out, making big plays for the Florida Gators, helping Tim Tebow out with those big long plays. But he is a tremendous athlete. He also plays baseball as well, too. So he reminds me a lot of Kirk Gibson in that aspect. But soft hands, sneaky speed. One thing, he doesn't use his hands well. He ha He's going to need to get off bump press a lot in the NFL. So those cornerbacks in the NFL are physical. You have to be able to use your hands to get those guys out of your face. Reminds me a lot of Chaz Schillings for the Raiders, a guy that just gets open, catches passes, and makes plays. Now, here's a guy that had a lot of injury history at Missouri. But Denario Alexander is a guy that's long, slim, sleek almost like a Cadillac just runs long distance speed is tremendous he just has to gain what you question is whether or not his long-term help Jeremy Williams is a guy from Tulane put Tulane program on his back was a solid playmaker for the Green Wave nice body type reminds me a lot of Willie Jackson he can also utilize him in the backfield a lot on end rounds and everything too catches with his hands precise routes he just doesn't have the long speed now Mike Williams is an intriguing prospect he's a guy that quit the team due to academic issues but when he was on the field Productive, highly productive guy that catches with his hands. He's just not a blazer. Reminds me a lot of Dwayne Jarrett. He's just a little too stiff, but he catches everything thrown to him. Now, if you like people that catch the football, Freddie Barnes is one of those guys catches everything. His problem, he doesn't have speed at all. He's about as slow as molasses, but that doesn't matter. He catches anything you throw to him. Reminds me a lot of Eric Martin that used to play for the Saints. Had the same body size, 6'1", 207. Couldn't run away from anybody, but caught anything thrown to him. Highly productive over his career. Freddie Barnes will have the same type of production. Now, our small school prospects, Andre Roberts, guy 5'10", 185 out of Citadel. Great burst. He runs tremendous routes. He's also catches the ball well. He's a good athlete. And he has discipline because you know he's coming from Citadel. But he also reminds me a lot of one Terrence Mathis. He's also reminding me of O.J. McDuff. He's a guy that will help a team out on punt returns. And that initial quick and watch this. Bang, make him miss and just shoot down the down the field and burn everybody. That is a tremendous playmaker. He always makes a big play. A highly productive guy for the Citadel. Then my last prospect is Terrell Hudgens, a guy that just a big body guy, dominated the SOCOM in this year. Was one of the tremendous receivers in the country, regardless of division. 